What is up, best friends? This is your best friend, Sam Pira, and today I am proud and honored to present to you the first plugin from my plugin company, Purified. It is the Liquid Death Snare. So this drum was created by SJC Drums in collaboration with Liquid Death. It's a 14 by six and a half aluminum snare drum with a wide range of tuning capabilities. My great friend and phenomenal drummer, Anthony Gazelle, he works for Liquid Death. Well, he foolishly sent me one of these snares to try out. <laughs> so I did the unthinkable. I recorded 25 different tunings of this snare drum from low C to middle C to high C and I put it into a virtual instrument that you can use in any DAW so you can give your productions a taste of what's missing. A taste of liquid death. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the liquid death snake. Okay, so let's just go over the controls of this plugin. The first control and the most important control on this plugin is the snare tuning knob. Now, the beautiful knob here, you can select from low C to middle C, all the way up to high C, and every note in between. You can also select those notes, this drop down menu here, because it's very handy and useful. The important thing to know about the snare tuning is that this isn't just like a digitally pitch shifted version of a snare sample. These are all completely different samples of the snare tuned to these specific notes. So there's over 500 samples inside of this virtual instrument. You can audition the snare sound by hitting this beautiful icon in the middle here, and or you can use a MIDI controller. Currently, I have the rim shot routed to D1. I have the flam routed to E1, and I have the multi-velocity version of the snare samples routed to F1. If you wanted to change the mapping of this, all you gotta do is hit MIDI learn and press the key that you wanna use, and it will change to it. So now I have that set to C sharp one. I'm gonna go back to C1 here. You can also change them from the menu. And there it is. That's how you trigger the snare. The other important control on here is the one shot button. Once it's engaged, it's going to play the same snare sample over and over. When it's disengaged, it's gonna play multiple samples of that snare. Okay, so next, we have our seven different channels here. And these are all the different microphones that we used to record this sample library. We have all the controls you'd want on them, solo, mute, and phase. Lastly, we have master volume output control. This plugin features several of my personal favorite presets. The first preset, it's the default mode. It's all microphones turned up and engaged. The second preset is just the close microphones. The third preset is just the mono ambient microphones. And the fourth preset is just the stereo microphones. Lastly, the multi out preset utilizes all the beautiful routing options in this plugin. To use the multi-routing options, you're gonna go below a channel and choose an output. So what I've done is I've created seven auxes in my DAW, and I have selected the corresponding input for each channel so that I could have all seven microphones laid out here on my console. So now, let's listen to it in a mix. So let's bypass it and hear it without. Let's turn it on. Okay, so let's take a listen to the snare tuning options. Okay, so the first channel here, it's the snare top microphone. It was recorded with a Shure 545. The second channel is the bottom snare microphone. It was recorded with a blue mouse. The third channel, is the shell microphone. It was recorded with a Reslo ribbon microphone about one foot from the shell. The fourth channel 
is a U47 microphone. It was recorded eight feet away from the snare drum. The fifth channel are the overhead microphones. They're a pair of SERN 17s. The sixth channel are the close room mics. They were recorded with a pair of ribbon microphones about 12 feet away from the snare. The seventh and last channel are the far stereo hall microphones. I placed them way down my hallway here at the Panda Studios and they were recorded with a pair of Panda modified C12 microphones. Now the powerful feature of having all of these microphones is you can use just the close mics, just the mono room mics, and or the stereo channels. So with all these microphones, you can use them to add more top end, more body, more decay, more stereo imaging, more ambience, more impact, more best friends. Aww. Let's listen to just the top and bottom snare microphones. Now the snare bottom. Now the shell mic. Now the U47. Now the overheads. Now the close microphones. Now the far microphones. Now let's listen to all these microphones together in the mix. Just the tops. Just the mono mics. And just the stereo. Now let's hear them all together. So some of you may be thinking, why change the tuning of the sample? Well, let's listen to it in context. Let's start with a low C. Let's move up to an E. Let's move up to a low G. Let's move up to a middle C. And let's move it back up to where we had it initially, which is a high G. As you can tell, all of them sound great, but one sounds better than the rest. And that's up for you to decide. <laughs> let's hear this in the context of the song and I'll bypass it in and out. So there it is, the Liquid Death Snare, available now at Purified.com. So download it now and murder your productions with the Liquid Death Snare Drum. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, ring that bell, and click subscribe for future notifications and content from Purified. Also, leave a comment down below, let us know what you think, and if you have any plugins you want to see us make, let us know. And cheers to you, my best friend. <laughs>